Good Wednesday morning, everybody, live and direct from News Channel 3 Home Office in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It is another quiet morning out there. We don't have a lot going on. We do have some more scattered showers taking place in the Mid-South as we go toward later on this morning. Fog here and there. There's not really all that much happening at this point with anything going on in the way of huge amounts of fog, so good news on that. If you are traveling this morning, though, a little bit of extra time as the roadways are decently backed up for this morning. We're continuing again to see some uh, slowdowns in various locations. Uh, Corey Ventura has got more coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak throughout the rest of the morning if you'd like to see more about what's going on there. Rest of the morning, again, could be the possibility of some of those scattered showers out across much of the area, but so far we're just not looking at too much of anything out there in the way of major problems, at least just yet. But again, we will be looking for the potential of more of that type activity into this weekend as well. Around the area of Veterans Day, could be looking at some scattered showers, and that could be a bit of a problem out there. And we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. Give me about two shakes, and we'll get our uh, Facebook viewers in here so we can see what's going on in and around the Mid-South area on there. We are live on Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook so far this morning. So if you're on any of those, please feel free to drop us a question and or anything, comment about the forecast into the comment section. Keep it nice. This is a family show. As of right now, again, very quiet conditions for the morning hours. We may see some patchy fog here and there. Again, low-hanging clouds out across much of the Mid-South, as you can see from our Germantown City Hall cam around the area just north of Germantown High School, looking off towards the towers of East Memphis in and around Poplar and Mendenhall off on the horizon. And again, lots of clouds, but so far the fog and the drizzle not nearly as bad as it was just about maybe a day or so ago, so decently quiet there. Radar is again showing some areas of showers taking place into and around just areas south of the News Channel 3 viewing area. It doesn't look like much, and in fact it's not. Uh, just that's about the, as much of the way of rainfall that we actually can get at this point in time. But some of that is going to be making its way back up closer to us. More chances of showers coming on through. Does not look like a thunderstorm situation for the time being, but again, that's something we will be watching into the rest of the day. Traffic around the area, we are continuing to see, again, the usual slowdowns in the usual places, especially back out to around uh, I-40 and Appling Road down to about 19 miles per hour there. Down to around the area, let me get that up so everybody can see that there around Lamar inbound to Tuggle Road, 17 miles per hour, 14 miles per hour around Holmes Road, I-55 in both directions in Horn Lake, South Haven, moving along at speed, a little bit of problems back to around Sam Cooper, 10 miles per hour going on in those locations, and of course the usual slowdowns on Germantown Parkway, a lot of slowdowns taking place. Uh, into and around areas of Riverdale Road. Got, again, slowdowns to about maybe 21 miles per hour on 385. So we do have, again, some decent amounts of backups taking place there. Looks like some accidents taking place on 385 for this morning. So if you have any plans for travel, that could be something to take a look at there. No earthquakes overnight to report on the New Madrid fault line. Don't have too much of anything else to report uh, so far at this time for much of the area. So very quiet here. About one fairly large earthquake back toward Knoxville. And that happened yesterday at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon south of Knoxville. Looks like around the Maryville area, uh, 2.0. But that's about all that we have to report there. In the way of hurricanes from the National Hurricane Center, Rena continues its way up and through the Mid-Atlantic. It is not a threat uh, to anything involving land at this time. Now, in the next several days, if you're heading towards, say, the British Isles, uh, this thing could be curving up and away towards Scotland and maybe Ireland, depending on which direction this thing actually decides to go, but mainly curving northeast, missing Iceland and Greenland, and most of the rest, it is not a threat to the United States, and it's only just a tropical storm. Uh, again, winds of about maybe 40 to 50 miles per hour, but that's about it so far, and no threat to anybody else. Currently in the Mid-South, again, we've got some pretty decent amounts of cloud cover out there. Heidelberg Elementary on our weather bug picture, pretty well socked in by clouds. You've already seen Germantown out there, so let's take a look at Windyke Country Club. Not too many golfers out and about for this morning in southeast Memphis. But again, a decent morning. 
<clears throat> excuse me, out across the Mid-South with just, again, rain and drizzle from up top. Well, we did have the satellite picture here just a second or so ago. Uh, this is, again, what we've been seeing throughout the course of the rest of the morning. Pretty well thick clouds across uh, much of the area and continuing, again, to see some uh, very heavy amounts of cloud cover out there throughout the course of the rest of the day. And it looks like the satellite picture is not going to agree with me here, so we'll come back to that a little bit later. Fog in the Mid-South, again, not as bad as it could be. Definitely nowhere near as bad as it was uh, yesterday, with visibility around 5 miles being reported around West Memphis and 2.5 mile visibility down to Monroe County in Mississippi. But beyond that, things are looking relatively okay. So we do not have a dense fog advisory in effect, but could be, again, some patchy fog out there for the most part. Got a storm system up into the Gulf of Alaska, and that's going to be slamming into the northwest coast of the United States into the next couple of days. And that will bring the possibility of some rain and snow into around portions of the Cascades and upper portions of the Rockies into the next couple of days as this gets a little bit closer to shore. So if you're heading anywhere, say, west of Denver, Salt Lake City, you may run into some travel problems in those locations there. What we have is high pressure coming down from Canada, and that could stir up some snow around the Great Lakes. But beyond that, this is going to give us a reinforcing shot of cool air dropping into the Mid-South, and that'll be moving its way into the area as we go into around Thursday night, Friday morning which means some cooler conditions in the Mid-South, but not exactly an Arctic blast either. Definitely going to keep our temperatures down by just a little bit into the next couple of days. Temperatures for today, high temperatures again, not looking all that high, back into the lower to mid-50s only. Winds across the area will be out of the northeast at about 10 miles per hour somewhere in there, and there will also be better chances of showers. The best possibility will be into around areas Clarksdale, Helena, let me get the rainfall potential back here. Clarksdale, Helena, Oxford, Tupelo, Guntown, uh, down to around areas of Batesville, Bruce, Water Valley. You're going to be seeing more rainfall chances there than anything else. Rest of the evening tonight, again, low temperatures, quite chilly as the skies begin to clear out back into the 30s and lower 40s, and chances for rainfall leaving the area heading down toward Clarksdale and Tupelo. That'll be the best chance for right now. Sunny skies tomorrow, temperatures a little bit warmer, back to around 60 degrees. As we go into Friday, high temperatures a bit cooler thanks to that cold front coming on through. We'll be back into the mid to upper 50s, and winds throughout the day pretty breezy at times, about maybe 5 to 10 miles per hour, but that's going to be about it. Jumping ahead to the holiday on Saturday, Veterans Day coming up, and again, a big thank you to all the veterans out there for wearing the uniform. If you see somebody out there wearing the uniform, shake their hand, tell them thank you. It's one of the it's one of the least things you can do, but also does mean a lot to those out there who are wearing the uniform of our country, so please remember to do that. Got, again, temperatures quite mild and not really seeing much of any problems for parades or dedication ceremonies outdoors, so good news there. But as we go into Saturday evening, there will be more chances of some light rainfall coming our way after sunset and toward about midnight, and some of that could be lingering around to around Sunday High temperatures on Sunday going back into the mid to upper 50s to right about the lower 60s or so. Rest of the forecast, if you want to know a little bit more about what's going on, join Bob and Josh on Talkback Live. They are on AM 730, and they'll be starting up here in about a, another little bit less than 10 minutes or so on AM 730. Talkback Live is sports chat, but there's a whole bunch more that they do throughout the rest of the morning community events, uh, a little bit more about weather from yours truly, and a lot of other stuff going on in news as well. So tune them in. If you can't tune in to the show on air because you're out of range, it is an AM signal that's fairly light uh, to get around the metro area, but you can reach it at talkbacklivenetwork.org if you'd like to know more about that. Our seven-day forecast, again, is available at wreg.com slash weather. If you'd like to know more about what this looks like and a good opportunity to check out the weather, again, at this website address as well, so stay tuned for more there, and we'll have more forecast information coming up throughout the rest of the day here with News Channel 3. Live and direct from House Onik, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks to everybody for joining us this morning on Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook, and more coming up throughout the rest of the day with News Channel 3 on air and online.